hi, Glenn here at the Gardens of Castle Rock and Schweitzer's Nursery. We're in front of the dressing room, the project that we've been filming and doing a few videos on showing you growing the gardens. Uh, last video was about making these wonderful timber brackets and the video before that, I'm sure you watched, was about installing these limestone caps on the pillars. Now we're going to do a little bit of video on actually installing these to the pillar itself. Let's watch it and then we'll come back and talk about what we did. You probably noticed we've gotten a little bit more done since the last time we filmed up front here. There's some stone and brick up there and there's a floor here and the timbers are installed. But the timbers being installed, they have to secure to this base. So if you remember videos back, we have concrete masonry units down here wrapped in stone. Inside those CMUs, we have number five rebar going down into it. And when we put the caps on, we cut that square out so that CMU comes all the way up to the top flush here. That's what actually carries the load of all of this weight down to the footings. Uh, and when we made the bracket, you saw that there was a hole right in the middle of that bracket. So what we did is we leveled it off, we cleaned it up, we set the bracket on there, a little spray paint. Simple way just to mark that in there. You can do all kinds of different things, but a of spray paint gives you a nice little mark. We drilled those in. That was a one inch drill. Uh, we put in a three quarter inch, uh, 12 inch bolt all the way down into it. So that bolt is resting all the way in here. And then we used a nice epoxy. So we didn't really use the threads itself there. We epoxied that in place. So it's not coming up. It's not going out at all. Then we uh, let that sit for a while and then we put the cap or the, not the cap, bah, we put the bracket on itself. And when we did the bracket, we ran a two, just a little thing of Vulcan. Not that it's really gonna make a difference, but that little bit keeps any moisture that gets from here going in and going down. We also then filled up around the bolt itself and then screwed that down and that was it. So, Pretty simple but a very important connection because we can't have this moving one way or the other so hopefully you enjoyed this video and the series a little bit um, make sure you subscribe and then next to the subscribe thing there's a little bell you hit the little bell then you'll get a notification when you get when we put up the next video and the next video is going to be about putting these guys in place so quite a fun project in itself making all these timbers and then putting them in place so so i've been glenn with the gardens of castle rock and schweitzer's nursery and landscaping thank you so much for watching uh we really appreciate it if you could like the video share the video and most of all if you could subscribe to the channel and like i said hit the little bell so that you know when the next video is coming up that would be greatly appreciated Leave us a comment about uh, what we're doing here. If you have any thoughts, ideas on how you would do it, we're always game to learn. So, enjoy. Enjoy.